He's he says over the moon. What is this, like 1930? <laughs> way over the moon for her. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel very over the moon for this next guest. Uh, welcome to the Tragedy Academy, a show created to bridge societal divides in a judgment-free zone using candor and humor. And I'm in trouble, and this is detention, and Jonah, our old intern, is in. What's going on, my man? Nothing much, just just hanging out. Was that intro completely ridiculous? Yes, but it Did was Did it completely ridiculous. tune out everybody that has any modicum of intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Modicum of intelligence? I don't even think that works. Does it work? Fuck, dude. Not my Same nine. Now, nah, don't. Let's not examine yeah, okay. it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Right? From so... <laughs> For those of you tuning in, this is going to be a detention episode. It's where we don't give a shit about things and we just hang out and talk. We do have a mild agenda, and that is because we're fresh off of a trip to the Tampa Bay Underground Film Festival, and we saw our friends, the Real Idiots. Yeah, it was it was, it was quite the trip. It was it was it was it was, it was quite the trip. Now, quite the trip because of events. No. <laughs> <laughs> the the journey more so from here to the film festival was for those of you uh <laughs> that don't know we both have severe ADHD and there's a phenomenon when two people with severe ADHD get together where you begin bouncing off of each other and escalating more ridiculous stuff and whenever Joan and I are around each other we cannot tell our age difference um, my maturity level is below his age, and he's 21, so... Um, <laughs> I mean, are you giving the legal thumbs up? I am. What is, what is that? Who are you thumbs upping to? Everybody. Just your age? You were excited to be 21? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting, man. Remember, I've, been man. Wait, I've been waiting. It's funny. You do wait, and then I promise you, you're going to look back and be like, the fuck was that? Yeah. I Served no purpose. It was just a random day that they want you to be excited about so you don't look around at everything else going on in the world. Very true. Yeah. I, I don't know. I was so, I was really excited for it. I was like, yeah, I get to go out. I get to go to the bars with my buddies. I would go out like every weekend and now I'm just like, hangover I'm suck. Like, yeah. And I, I'm kind of over it already. Yeah. Hangover suck. And uh, when you have ADHD, I think it's different when you drink alcohol. It's, it gives me like uh it makes me too talkative. Yes, that's how I am. Like I just can't stop. Inhibitions gone. Yes. All of them. <laughs> so true. Like takes off like a car. Yes. There's nonstop. Yeah. Talking a mile like, a minute. Engine running like a dollar general <laughs> toy knockoff. Like McQueen. McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is one of the discussions on the way to this film festival was um, Jonah grew up with uh, dads that spoiled him rotten and he got named Ren shit. Yeah. I grew up on, you know the toys for the friend that you got invited to their birthday party and your parents are pissed and they stop two minutes before they get there <laughs> at like Walgreens or Dollar General and get an action figure or, you know, fucking G.I. <laughs> Moe yes. instead of G.I. Moe. <laughs> G.I. <-mo. laughs> so we were talking about somebody getting the Lightning McQueen car and it's L-Y-T-I-N-G. <laughs> McQueen, M C K W E E N. Lower K C capital K. <laughs> McQueen. It's amazing. It's amazing. What kind of car is Lightning McQueen? We, we threw on a couple. Um, we said Prius at one point. No, Corolla, I think, is a solid one. Yeah, I think it's a standard Toyota Corolla for sure. <laughs> Gotta with, be. No, El Camino with a wing. That's what it was. <laughs> that was the first one you said. I'll come you know, with a wing. wing. <laughs> Perfect. Lightning McQueen. And his colors were off. Like he's that like orange. Oh, like, yeah. Orange color. What? His eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> he's at the Dollar General. <laughs> Waiting. Lightning McQueen has a cigarette. <laughs> Cups with cigarette. <laughs> cigarette included. 
That's amazing. That's, that's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> now includes cigarettes. Vader gets chaw. It's like some fucking delivery truck. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Let me um, queen. <laughs> I want to see that. Like, I really do right, so, want to see that one. Listeners, somebody out there, I know we have so many artistic and talented people. Please. Can you please come up with an, a rendering of Lightning McQueen? And that's anything I want for the rest of my life is that. His bloodshot eyes and a cigarette probably hanging out of the side of the grill. I, I need him to have a brush guard mustache. Oh. I don't know why. Circa dazed and confused. <laughs> it makes sense with the cigarette. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, of course, since he has no hands, this is perfect. His eyes are bloodshot because there's always that one old man that smokes that doesn't even grab the cigarette out of his mouth. No. He just he just has it hanging out of the corner, doing whatever mechanical real man <laughs> job that he's doing Talking with like smoke just barreling up into his right cornea. Like a signal fire, oh. <laughs> it's just bulging, and he's still hammering or doing whatever fucking <laughs> manual labor it is. That's a That's real amazing. man, dude. You don't take that dude's anything. No, you don't. No, no. You, you leave him alone. You don't take his parking spot. You don't let him do what he needs to do. <laughs> and you don't tell him he's doing a good job. Nope. Then, you, you don't need to tell me what I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? You trying to give me accolades or something? You don't need to tell me. It's so good. Accolades. I like that he's super intelligent. <laughs> he's got all the big words. Big words, but just fucking don't look like it. I love those kinds of, you know, oh that juxtaposition. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That is not a very eloquent way to look. <laughs> I can oh my breaking God. it down for you. That's amazing. so we had Lightning McQueen. <laughs> what, what what other uh, amazing oh. things did we come up with on this trip? Just oh. to go to a film festival, we talked about so much. <laughs> we talked about so, it's endless. I'm trying to think. There was something in particular oh, that uh, that it? stuck out. Um, I want to say that shit. What was it? I'm embarrassed. Was it dude. the balls? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was definitely one of the conversations. It, it, it came back like a quick. <laughs> so <laughs> I have no idea why this happened. What I don't even know what I preface. This. I don't know how we got out of the conversation. It was just, for some reason, no. I wait a minute. I think there was a conversation about the seam on the nuts. Yes, and you said you have no seam. No, that was Gary. <laughs> Gary said you have no, no seam. seam. I was like, like what? what? Like a water balloon? They're just both in there, like two eggs in a crown royal bag. <laughs> no <laughs> seam. No seam. I was like, how does that happen? Yeah, everyone, you, you, everyone everybody, has a seam. Everybody has There's a seam. A seam. Ev everyone has. But the only one that doesn't have a seam is the guy who's got two individually swinging nuts. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like just same, same distance. They just hang there individually, yes. and I think the conversation was swinging them like, like uh, the perpetual like, motion, like the perpetual motion balls, <laughs> just let them go back and forth. <laughs> that is, what but then of course it has to go to the next level. Of so course. we turned it into like a shoebox diorama <laughs> of like a circus tent where the two nuts are like swinging one into the other, and it explodes <laughs> like, like with fireworks. baby powder and fireworks. <laughs> Circuit jackass in the beginning. Perfect. One with a cape. <laughs> you could just I want it to be super cinema like cinematography at its highest yes. level. Where you can see like Every Which pube still has like a little bit of hair follicle in it too? Oh <laughs> it's got to be so crystal clear. Yes, you got to see like the heat bumps. Oh 
<laughs> oh, <Not Lord>. Facebook. <laughs> it's funny. So <laughs> Taryn and I are watching this show right now. <laughs> and it's been out for a while, but you know it. Your dad's watched it. We were just talking about it the other day. And it's called uh, Naked Attraction. Yes. <laughs> it's oh my god. And gosh. God bless British TV because they yes. do give us re- we bastardize their great reality TV. Yes. All the time. And I'm glad I haven't seen this here yet, but I'm sure it's about 10 seconds away. Mm-hmm. But this show is phenomenal for body positivity for understanding of the human experience from a physical attraction level. Yeah. Like, I've never seen, but it is also funny as fuck. Yeah, I thought, I I walked into my house one day, (laughs) and I was like, I was just walking in like normal, like, said hi to my parents, like, what's up? I look at the TV, and there's like, five naked dudes, (laughs) like, behind, behind like a wall. And there's this girl like judging their bodies. I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> They're all different colors. Yes. And like, it looks like Rubik's cube colors, and it's super like, it's not a dirty scene. That's no. what's so weird They're just about standing it. there, nude. It, yeah. It's okay. So the premise of the show is they want to see who you choose based on naked attraction, and then they go out on a date afterwards, and they you know discover whether or not it was yeah. something that was worthwhile. That said, one of the coolest things about the show is that there are no limitations to whom they put on. Yeah, no, there's everyone's like such a diff. It's it's you never see like something the same. Like it's always something. Amputees, different. you know what? In America, we'd say it's just obese or yeah. just normal looking everyday people, people, right? And then, but they're naked. So yeah. the premise is that it starts in that first level, mm-hmm. right? And it goes from the feet up to the waistline, yep. right? And the music, it goes, yeah. it's so, so corny. It's so the bad. music is it's awful. So now I chase around Taryn. Anytime we're like in the bathroom, around the shower, somewhere <laughs> in the house, I'm like, like it's going to happen. The party's starting. Yeah. She she yelled at me one day because uh, I I like to draw stupid things on the shower like uh, wall. Oh, same, yeah. And um, I think I drew like a big vainer on there just looking <laughs> for fun. Why and, not? Uh, well, we have a housekeeper. <laughs> also, like, you can't leave that kind of shit up there. It's fun. <laughs> so when it steams up, you can <laughs> it stays, yeah, it's still there. It's still there. But yeah, so this show. The individuals, it's it's not just men, women, you know, women, men. It's also gay, straight, lesbian, um, transitioning, transgender, um, people that are in mid transition, yep. like uh, having like their their uh, breasts removed. You can see like all the work being done halfway through, um, which is amazing. Yeah. Like and the people that are being picked are not the people you'd think are being you know would be picked. No, yeah, because usually you see like the more stereotypical, conventional, attractive person in one box, or you see like a really nice body in one box, like you know that it's what's perceived as a nice body by everybody, and that that comes up and they're either a completely different person or the person that's picking them is going for someone that's average. You know? And I think that. We play to a societal requirement in whom we identify as a mate. Yeah. That it has to check certain blocks in order to even be acceptable to choose. Yep. So those persons that are underneath that line don't even make the cut simply by societal elimination in your own mind. Well, I can't choose that one because this. Yep. I can't choose that one because this. And it's usually what somebody else would have perceived you in a situation with, right? So I think that they're not as choosy as we are here. They're a lot more comfortable with nudity. Um, They're not hung up on penis size, I can tell you that. No, that's what I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh, here we go. Here's here's Mr... Really long schlong <laughs> coming out on the screen. The screen's going up. But it really, like, I there, I haven't seen one person on there that really is too concerned. No, no. And, and, like, 
the dude without the giant one will say to the other one, you know, like, I remember there was a dude in a wheelchair next mm-hmm. to a guy that had a big one. And I he's saw like, that it's, like, yeah, yeah, it's, like yeah. it's right here at eye level. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty amazing that that kind of humor was there. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Um, and in fact, I think he was chosen. Was I'm pretty it? sure, maybe not, but there's been like uh, guys that were amputees and stuff like oh, that. And yeah. I'm, I'm saying this like it's supposed to be an amazing thing. It's normal. It it's should be normal. normal. It's normal. It's not normal here for some reason, but it's normal everywhere else. Right. And I would argue that we're attracted to what is not that societal line mm-hmm. more so than we are the other way. And we put ourselves into an exclusive box where we can't find a mate because they don't meet A, B, and C when we didn't even care about A, B, and C. No, exactly. Like, I think people set, like, they they have this checklist and they said, okay, well, they have to meet this, uh, you know, meet this and be this and do this, look like this, have this, whatever. And they're not really just looking at a person as a person. They're looking at a person as a checklist. And if they don't meet that checklist, then there's no point of even considering. I think that that also comes with a certain level of maturity because I can tell you that the boxes I checked growing up, We're a lot more shallow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, um, but I also think that that's a baser urge situation as well. True. Um, you're going to do what you do between the ages of, you know, 16 and 25. You just lose your shit. Yeah. Um, you hump holes in walls. <laughs> <laughs> or you you have that conversation Gary and I had a few minutes ago, oh. which was pretty funny. Jeez. <laughs> I've never heard that theory before. Neither have I. And I'm I'm questioning the validity behind this study. <laughs> I, wanna, I, yeah, I wanna know where it came I want is this peer reviewed? Is this, <laughs> is this a scholarly source? <laughs> like where, where is this coming from? So Gary is not here, and there's a reason he's not here because Gary also didn't show up to the film festival until after we all came out. He was sitting in his car with 40 tacos and a latex glove hidden in one. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. And it was inside out, right? And he already ate a couple of tacos. And didn't he go back anymore in the hotel after? That's when he found it. (laughs) He found the rubber glove there. (laughs) Uh, like, I understand it's for cleanliness and yeah. everything, but at the same time, it was inside out and whatever That's, you were trying to keep out of the food. Is because we're not trying to keep the food out of your hands. We're trying to keep out of the food. And now it's there. It now doesn't matter anyways. That's like slapping somebody with an inside out condom when you're done. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's true, though. <laughs> Worst finishing move ever. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. <laughs> rubber band. Backwards. You put like a pebble in it, like a slingshot. Why? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I did. Oh, gosh. So I am, I am all about removing um, bigoted, stereotypical types of humor mm-hmm. in certain instances. Yeah. And uh, uh, online with this detention episode and what we're discussing, I voted recently amongst myself, I made this decision within myself, to get rid of the dirty Sanchez. Oh, yes. (laughs) And it's a good decision. I think that that it is insensitive. I think it insinuates things. And I think it should be removed. And I think that it has a great replacement. And that is the shitler. So good. (laughs) It's so good. So instead of... The wipe across. It's the it's one straight down, <laughs> and nobody cares if you talk shit about Hitler. No, it goes together. I said, give somebody a Hitler. <laughs> it's so perfect because this is better than this. But I like that we're justifying or we're trying to come up with a new term and not just ending giving yes. somebody a poop stash. <laughs> we got to keep this going. We got to yeah. switch the name. We're, we're definitely gonna be giving people poop mustaches. <laughs> we just have to change the name. Who's the asshole that came up with, with the that? <laughs> with the Shitler. Shitler. <laughs> with the Shitler. Forgot that's what we're, we're calling it now. Yeah. We're here to bridge societal divides <laughs> and a judgment for you. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's that's, that's <laughs> all right. Amazing. Let's take a quick break, and we're back. Perfect. 
<laughs> it's a long, <laughs> nice break we had there. What, uh, dude? I can't believe uh, that. Um, so, the film festival. Oh yeah, it's back to what we were talking let's, about. Let's actually <laughs> talk about the people that worked really hard. <laughs> that we went to support. <laughs> that we went to support. Let's support them now before the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm I'm bogarting a friendship here, a, pr- a friendship, a, b- good, a friendship, a friendship here. Uh, Tyler Council is Gary's friend. They worked together for many many years on uh, Street Outlaws and other you know sports things, I believe. Um, and Tyler is one of the uh, founding members of the Real Idiots. Uh, this group makes amazing, it's the best. killer comedy videos. It's the Real R E E L Idiots. And the two that they were up for <laughs> awards for, where the first one was, go ahead. It was uh, Werewolf, uh, Werewolf with a Gun. <laughs> Werewolf with a Gun. Yeah. You know, what I found interesting about this one was it was a 72-hour film festival. Yeah. So they only had 72 hours to make that amazing It piece. was great. It was great. Fantastic. A, a Miami I, werewolf running around with a gun. And I laughed through the whole entire thing. There was not a dull moment there. No, there's not. What I love about their work is not only is it professional quality and caliber, it's also authentic as fuck. Yeah. Like, I smell weird. Adult Swim yeah. anytime I'm near them. They've done, a, they did an animated uh, animated uh, show the other day that I saw amazing. It reminded me of Squidbillies. I don't oh, know about it. Riley, the studio mascot, is here. Squidbillies was an Adult Swim show, but the second film that they entered oh. was uh, <laughs> Yurniture. <laughs> and it's amazing. A, hey, you want to tell them what the premise of this one? So Yurniture is basically just uh, it's furniture that you could piss on. <laughs> 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 they said that the idea came from driving past a furniture store where the F in the sign was out yep. and it just was downhill from there. <laughs> It was, it's amazing. Right. And the way that they did the detail and the acting. Oh, my gosh. And the salesman, the whole nine, it was perfect. Yes. They they even described the process about why you can urinate on it, but <laughs> yeah. you can't definitely. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> These reminded me of kind of like a, what, Tim and Eric meets like SNL. I only know one of the things that you just said is SNL. Okay, disregard. I don't have enough time to even try to explain that. Yeah. At any rate, (laughs) (laughs) the stuff is super humorous, super weird. Do you want to let her out real quick? Yeah, she's going to drive me me get up and let her out. Riley, the bull mastiff, knows there's food somewhere in the house and is uh, wants to go get it. Ridiculous. She can't sit still. So. We got to see those films. Those guys are amazing. Amongst a, a bunch of other entrants who yeah. had just amazing films as well. Great. Um, I love to see creators being creators and doing it for the love and not for the pay, even though they are getting paid and should be paid for it. Yeah. But just having a good time in general. Everyone there had a smile. It was everyone was laughing the whole time. It was just like it felt good. Hey, it was kind of like watching funny movies at your buddy's house. Yeah. This is what it felt like with all cool people. Yes. Like nobody there was judging anybody. Well, except for the judges. Yeah, except for the judges. <laughs> Forgot about those There was guys. no judging at the film festival with winners. None. <laughs> Everybody won. Um, <laughs> no judging. That's the next Miss America. <laughs> no judges. No, yeah, you can't. No. Oh, what do they do? A PC pageant. You can't just you can't exclude anyone. No, you can't. You just stand there. <laughs> you just drop confetti from the ceiling like uh, like New Year's. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. <laughs> Go home. Good night, America. There they are. <laughs> Miss Americas. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. and everybody. Miss Americas. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> People. People. People of America. <laughs> People on the stage. <laughs> and, and non-identifying people. I don't know. Everyone. Everyone. Like, if, oh. you, if you breathe, you're a winner you're today. The, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but what you do is you walk them all out behind a curtain 
give them their award and then tell them they can't tell anybody that they were the actual winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they yeah. all, for the rest of their life, <laughs> believe that they were the, they winner. Were the winner of the pageant. That's perfect. That's a right? great idea. And you could even tell them that the one that won on stage really didn't win. It was no. you. Yeah. But the Illuminati said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That we had to keep. They got to be the. the but ones. you're actually the winner. Yep. And they just kept going. You're actually the winner. You're <laughs> yeah, actually the every winner. person. <laughs> <laughs> they go home to their families. Everybody's <laughs> got a, a plastic Oscar. <laughs> or whatever they give. It's like they give one. a tiara to them, right, or a crown. I, even, I think it's like a yeah, like a crown or I don't even. Know. Who's the asshole that came up with the crown? Yeah. Like. I got no idea. What kind of pompous asshole needs to stick shit on his head <laughs> <laughs> worth money to make you feel less of a person yeah, in front of him? That is kind of messed up. <laughs> like, Let me put all these like gems on my head just yeah. to make you feel more and like the, poverty. Who made gems worth something? Yeah, why? A why? gem has never done anything for me. No, it's something from the ground. Dude, it is. Like gold. Yeah. Gold hasn't solved a single problem for me. No. Or society except for spending it. Yes. And then there and again, it's the weight we put on it. I'm still genuinely curious why the fuck we care about it. Yeah, why? It's a stone. Like, it's a mineral. Like, what do you, what do we? <laughs> There's no, found this shining thing in the river. Right. It's solid. Oh, yeah. I got fever, you know, like fucking 49ers and all that shit. Yeah. But why? Yeah. It's not like you question. can take it home and cook it or, you know, use it for shelter. No, it has no practical drink value. It. it has nothing, yeah. no, no practical, uh, Excuse me. Uh, yeah, value. It's, it doesn't. It doesn't it, help anything. It, it makes gaudy jewelry. That's about <laughs> it. That's about it. Can't is, it. Can't is the, Nothing. Do you survive on herringbone chains? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what's that for? <laughs> Who's it for? Cuban links is when you're feeling you could eat a lot. What is Cuban links? Cuban link. You never seen a Cuban link chain? They're like. Duh, duh. Oh, okay. It's like, like Thanksgiving dinner chains. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Because it's a big meal. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what, it's like sucking on it? Eating it like ribs? Yeah. <laughs> it's I don't know it. why I did that. I yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 mark that. <laughs> Time check that's at uh, 37 minutes and 45 <laughs> seconds. I almost did it again. <laughs> Giving yourself the the double skier. <laughs> dual wielding. Dual wielding. Oh gosh. That's pretty funny, man. How long have you been doing this? What's the time up there? Uh 28 minutes. That's it. That's it. Holy shit, dude. We've we're also just... every time we've gone to talk about the film festival and what's happened, two seconds later we're on something else. I think it's the funniest thing ever. But that's the way it should be. I love it. Um, I, I can it. care less about thinking about the same thing too long. Yeah. All that does is just cause my ADHD, neuroses. My ADHD gets mad when I have to focus on something for too long. <laughs> Imagine if your ADHD sat beside you. <laughs> I, would, I would hate my life. I would hate it. I would hate like it. you fucking had to sit by it <laughs> and it had to like actively distract you. It's just ADHD personified. It's right just here. going like this. <laughs> Every time you try to focus on, hey, it's throwing like Rubik's cubes and shit. <laughs> this fuck, make, make a you know, random noises that's and the shit. Best. That's the best. Oh, everybody needs an ADHD monkey. Yeah, <laughs> just run around with. <laughs> they're. I like that they're like perfectly normal. Yeah, they're legit. The person is trying to actually accomplish life, <laughs> but they have an invisible monkey climbing all over them that nobody can see. That's snapping funny. their fingers in their eyes. Pulling their ears, That's poking them in the BH, you know, fucking yelling, look at that, look at that, look at that. You know, that's really what it is. ADHD is having an invisible spider monkey that fucks with you, like the ones yeah. from Jumanji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the scariest looking fucking monkeys ever. That was a kid's movie. Yeah, those monkeys were uh, were something. Yeah, if you, if you want to know what ADHD feels like, go get a monkey. Buy like a <laughs> spider monkey and just let it loose. But you're not allowed to let anybody ask you a question nope, about it. Nope. You've got to just have the monkey. <laughs> it's got to fuck with you. And everybody's got to just act like it's not there. Yes. Like, we know you're struggling. I can see you trying to look at me. We're not acknowledging it. We're not going to acknowledge it. No. This is not happening. I think this is a great way to 
a great analogy for ADHD. Yeah, that I think I've been trying to look for a way to describe it, but that's like, I think that's the perfect. Yeah, and you don't want the monkey there. No. Like, you absolutely don't want the, the monkey is fun sometimes. Though. Sometimes, very fun. If the monkey and you are both in a good mood, it's We're fantastic. We're good. But if it's throwing shit, <laughs> it's like throwing if, shit. If you're trying to do something productive and that monkey's there. No, actually yeah. throwing its poo. It's, oh, yeah, terrible. But, like, if, <laughs> see, the things that I like about it is, like, whenever I, like, whenever I go for a walk, like, if I just want to go for a walk by myself, I always entertain myself. Like, I try to see how many steps I could take in just the one square on the sidewalk. And then I ask, well, what does that feel like? Or what is this doing? Or what is yep. this doing? That's fun. No, I get it. You're, you're your own built-in entertainment. Yeah. One of the worst things for me is long runs or ruck marches when I was in the military. Oh. Because I don't know what to fucking think about. Yeah. I'm like humming fucking TV <laughs> theme shows in my head. Like, I don't know what people think you're supposed to be doing. Like, I'm a man, I'm a man, or whatever the fuck they think's going through your head. Mine was like, <laughs> that's how my mind is all the like, time. Andy Griffith, there's some. Shit <laughs> I want to know what it, like, I want to know what goes on. Like, uh, if you don't have ADD or ADHD, like the like, fucking ducktails. What goes song. on in your head? Like, if you're just sitting there, nothing. See, I don't. I, I don't even know how to comprehend that. Like, that's bro. Isn't that weird? It's so weird. Well, have you ever taken um, uh, what you call it, uh, Adderall? Yeah. Isn't it like fucking the first day you show up for fishing? Yeah. The, the lake the is first, fucking just yeah. calm at like six in the morning. It's weird. Yeah. You're waiting for somebody to sneak up behind you and stab you. See, I don't think I would want to. I don't, I don't think I would want that, though. I feel like I, I need the, the constant like something going on in my head. Mm, you're addicted to the dopamine release that we have. Yeah. Versus theirs. They have a steady amount. Yeah. That's why they can do the mundane, and the repetitive. We need a fire up our ass. Yeah. It's got to be like fucking, we can't have regular sex. We got to have sex with a thumb in the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For it to be interesting. No, yeah. no, that is not happening to all of my family members. That has never happened. But same. It's, it's, it's just an analogy. <laughs> make, let me make that clear. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to prep for oh, the shitler. God. Yeah. <laughs> Way to bring it around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring it right back. <laughs> Rocking the shitler. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, can I get my. My extremely <laughs> heartfelt show that I've created over the years canceled with a detention episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quest. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh. I do like the idea of a bunch of fucking stupid Aryans calling up the show angry because I am besmirching the <laughs> Hitler name with Schindler. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, my God. Oh, how dare Ooh. you? <laughs> Jeez. That's the best do, thing what's ever. what's do you say anything after you do it? Do you like click your heels together? And... <laughs> yeah, it's like you're done. Did, did you get it? Who's the person who's done. the person on the receiving end of that fucking thing? That, what what do you do if somebody fucking Gives you a fucking. I feel like you just gotta accept it. <laughs> the mind comes. <laughs> I feel like you gotta accept it at that point. Like, if you let, no, somebody... you have to fight back, right? No, I feel like if no, you... you have to fight Hitler. Yeah. Or, gotta, is that person gotta... Hitler? I mean, if they got the stat, I mean, if they're what's... giving you a Hitler, then they're. I don't know. Is that like a but Michael Jordan? Was it, he rocked it, <laughs> dude. I we've been talking about that. Never, all uh, yeah, we've always talked about this. I fucking believe. Because Michael Jordan, if you don't believe me, go Google it, look it up. Because that dude killed the mustache, right? Hitler killed the fucking Charlie yes. Chaplin. Like, that dude had to be pissed. Yeah. Like, that his mustache yeah. got fucking just hijacked. Yeah. So nobody could have this mustache anymore. <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> Michael fucking Jordan. Michael that's Jordan what... rocked that fucking <laughs> thing for, like, a solid two or three years, it felt like. It was in every Haynes commercial. Every picture. Was, <laughs> get on the golf course. It had cigars. It was like fucking, and nobody said shit. It was Michael Jordan. It was Michael Jordan. I swear, I think, I honestly uh, think that 
he had a bet because we know that those guys like to gamble yes. and they're always betting each other. I think that either one or two scenarios happened. Either <laughs> Charles Barkley bet him that he couldn't rock a Schittler, or not a Schittler, an actual, like, mustache yes, like yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't rock that mustache without somebody calling him out. Or Michael Jordan said, bet you I can do this. I would like to think it's that one. I'd like to think <laughs> Michael Jordan was like, I bet I could do this for, like, two well, years. All right, I'll tell you what. Million dollars, I'll rock a Hitler <laughs> for the next two years, even on the Haynes commercials, and nobody will say shit. That's what I think. That's, and that's, think that that's had to be how it happened. Like, what? Because I, really I don't think Michael Jordan is going in the bathroom <laughs> with this razor just perfectly cutting out a Hitler well, mustache. What if it was just a bad day? Like, he fucking was shaving and he, goes, he actually hit the one side. He's like, hoops, I'll he's keep like, it. He's like, fuck it. And hit the other and just left that bitch. <laughs> Maybe he was having a conversation with somebody While and he, he got shaving. distracted. Yeah. Forgot that he fucking didn't do the middle. And, left. and <laughs> rocked it all day. Got some compliments. Because you know. Everybody that saw it the first time stopped and looked <laughs> at it like hard. So you know that he knows that you're looking at it. Yep. You have a decision to make in this moment. Do you ask him if he has a Hitler? Or do you, <laughs> or you not say tell, nothing because it's Michael Jordan? No, you go, I like your stash, man. <laughs> do I play kiss up to Michael Jordan? Or I do bet I more people this? said I like your stash, man. Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I would say it. If I'd I do that if I could grow one. <laughs> With my full beard? I'm, yeah. No. <laughs> I'd rock it too if I could. <laughs> it's like, all right. All right. No, no. No. Uh -uh. I think I think there was a bet. Him, Tiger Woods, and Charles Barkley all sitting around Gotta the same be. poker table. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, million tell bucks you what. You can't do it. <laughs> million bucks, you can't rock. <laughs> I would love Charlie to think it was Chaplin. a bet. I would love to think it was a bet. I hope it is. Oh, that or just a fucking foul up in the mirror. And he just went for the other half and left that shit it's in the It's got to be one of the two, because I don't think he wakes up one age like, yeah, let me do this. Like, yeah, let me, let, let me rock this for a little while. Like, I don't, it's got to either be a bet or a mistake. Like, dude, I love Michael Jordan. Yes. Like, so if you're hearing this, I'm voting for it. this was comedy or a bet. Yes. Um, yes. If you truly rocked it and liked it, I apologize. Because um, <laughs> I just, maybe my deep seated, oh. seated implicit oh. bias <laughs> and bigotry and shame for being the color of myself <laughs> in German makes me not want the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe having a problem with the mustache is my problem. <laughs> projecting, <laughs> projecting my my German insecurities <laughs> on <to> Uncle Jordan. It's <laughs> amazing. Sorry, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Mr. Jordan. That sounds weird, right? Yeah. Jim J. Oh, let's tell Mr. Jordan. Yeah, Mr. It's yeah. Dude, I did a song a while back for Gary. Um, well, not like. Oh, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to hear that too. Dude, you know? track. Um, because his favorite commercial of all time is it's the shoots. Yeah. Done by Spike Lee with Michael Jordan. Or Jordan's. And you know, he gives me those stupid music challenges where he gives me like this fucking dryer with a wallet in it. Fucking <laughs> Which yeah. was great, by the way. Thank you. Um <laughs> he doesn't give me fun sounds like he gave me a Black and Decker drill to make drill music to. <laughs> 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 Fucking awful. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. But oh. for this one, I did a rendition where I used the sounds of sneakers squeaking on the court. Yes. And what I did was the I title of it was If I Only Had the Shoes. I remember you showing me that one. Yeah, because I, I wanted to have the cool shoes, but all my friends, we couldn't afford those fucking things. No. There's no way. So I did a track called, you know, if I only had the shoes. So that's that's for you, Jordan. I'm also saying that you didn't know. Yes. You gave a lot to charity and yes. you gave away a lot of shoes. So. We love you, Michael. <laughs> we, love <laughs> we love you. Love and you. I didn't care about the mustache. I was impressed that you rocked it with fucking might. <laughs> was I even alive? Come on, man. It wasn't that long ago that he had uh, that mustache, was it? You watch the Haynes commercials, right? Those awkward ones where he's walking see, around in his underwear. I feel like I'd remember if I... Like, it's got to be before. It, no, dude. 
Look it up. Yeah, I will. Don't you dare make me feel that old. I bet you could Google, did uh, did he have a Hitler mustache? I'm Googling. <laughs> when did Michael Jordan have a Hitler mustache? This is why you end up in detention, by the way. Oh, yeah. For talking about shit like this. I feel like I belong here. I, I, I guarantee you it's been Googled. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I was alive. I was. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, you made me feel like I had, like, fucking a cane. But I was, was eight. Like, you were 2010, eight? yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck, don't say things <laughs> like that. However, when you Googled that, did you Google... Um... I said, when did Michael Jordan... And, it, and, and the first thing that came up was, in May 2010, American basketball star Michael Jordan appeared in a Haynes commercial sporting a hybrid of the toothbrush and pencil mustache, <laughs> along with a soul patch. <laughs> This prompted Jordan's friend Charles Barkley to say, I don't know what the hell he was thinking, and I don't know what Haynes was thinking. <laughs> By Charles Barkley. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Yes. I was all fucking like, I felt like, I was like, dude, I just insulted and went after Michael yes. Jordan for his mustache. Oh, we're good now. Charles Barkley was terrible. <laughs> Like, so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> no, that was that was my horrible Charles Barkley. Oh, <laughs> oh my but, gosh. dude, all right. So this was a good detention episode. Short, that sweet, was, to the point. Weird. We did the Lord's work today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the Shitler. Um, <laughs> the Shitler. Um, in all honesty, uh, shout out to the real idiots. We're going to have them on. Um, we're going to do kind of like a uh, build up where we interview them. Uh, maybe one at a time or as a group, and then we discuss what they've got coming in the future. They've got some big things coming up. Yeah. So we're we're rooting for them, root for the uh, the creators out there. Jonah, good to have you back around the studio. Uh, Love happy. that you're going to be uh, involved a little more. Oh, yeah. Um, I needed it. Yep. You're always welcome. This has been your home for four and a half years. You've seen it since day one. Yeah. And uh, you've you've helped out for all these years here and there, and we appreciate it. It's good to have you back around. Gary? Um, we miss you, and uh, sorry that you chewed on a rubber glove and missed the, the film festival. <laughs> and also, your oh, we didn't discuss his bizarre theory around uh, psychopaths or serial we gotta killers. Get it in. We got to get it in quick. Do we do it quick? Yeah. I'm so, this one bothers me. It's weird, <laughs> right? It's weird. I don't. It know. is weird. Yeah, it is very weird because I I want to know the details. Like I, I want to know where it came so, from. So. I, and we'll we'll have Gary on to defend his position. Right now, I'm just going to fucking rail on it for a little while. See, so he has to be like, motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, that's not what I meant. Like, no, he's probably going to say he meant it. But <laughs> and Gary no. said that all... <laughs> if, did he say definitively all? all yeah, I he think said, he was he pretty all, definitive. All yeah. serial killers. All serial killers. <laughs> or all people that jerk off without lotion are serial killers. <laughs> And that this is like a legit thing. Oh. And my question is, who did the poll? Yeah. Who well, that funny? Uh -huh, who did the poll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like who who walked up oh. to Charles Manson or you know, <laughs> was like, you a dry jerker? <laughs> dry jerker? Or were they like peeking? <laughs> Look, we'll get through the little fucking. Oh, dude, they got to go up to the fucking meal slot. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I saw that. Silence of the Lambs, man. They throw that shit at you. Oh. <laughs> You're too young for that movie, too. Yeah. Hello, Clarice. Oh, that's, um, what's his name? The character name? Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter, yeah. <laughs> There's a scene in the original one where she's walking down a row of jail cells of the extremely dangerous incarcerated individuals to include Hannibal at the end of this hallway. And as she's walking down there, you can hear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he threw it at her face or something oh. like that. Yeah, it was pretty vile. So, but nice. <laughs> do you think that he had Jergens? <laughs> Not in jail. <laughs> so that does line up. Yes. So with Gary's, Gary's theory, that one's, that's a check. That works. To check that works. Um, <laughs> what what about the dude on the island alone? Is he never going to punch the clown again? 
He's got to. He's got to do it. What could he like, use? Do you, I don't Nothing. know. Aloe? Yes. He's trying to find aloe plant. plant. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, man. I think it's a stretch. No, nah, I feel like if you, I, I, I feel like if you're in that predicament and you just, you just got to do it. Yeah, man. You blood eye through it. Yeah. You're not there for anything <laughs> but just, you know, <laughs> getting out the rage. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> Let it all out. Hammer fist in yourself. Oh, gosh. But, yeah, he seems to believe that's a serial killer move. I mean, now that we're talking about it, though, it is, it kind of makes sense. Oh, no, man. Because I don't think you said all people that are dry jerkers <laughs> are serial killers. I just think you said all serial killers are dry jerkers. Uh, that Venn diagram's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Of those that jerk off, <laughs> how many are serial killers? killers? <laughs> how many are not? <laughs> how many <laughs> don't use lotion versus? <laughs> Never thought that I'd be talking about dry jerking and serial killers on a Thursday afternoon in December. Do do they do it with their eyes open and nothing there? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I don't know if I want to imagine that. <laughs> Just staring ahead. <laughs> With a cigarette straight out of the corner. The one cigarette like the, like fucking Lightning McQueen the El Camino. <laughs> Lightning McQueen's a dry jerk. Yes. Too manly for lotion. Oh, yes. wait a minute. Does a real man use lotion? Does a real man use lotion? Does, <laughs> does, does Samuel Elliott... <laughs> <laughs> does he go over to the Jurgens <laughs> with his deep voice? Who lights a candle? Oh my god! <laughs> I would like to think that he does because that would just be funny as hell. <laughs> I bet he'd be like, "I'm a gentleman." <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Chivalry's not dead. <laughs> Chivalry's not dead. <laughs> I treat him like a lady. <laughs> See, he knew where I was going. <laughs> Open doors for this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing, best thing oh my god. <laughs> Bitch, you said what I heard. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> who, who sings that song? Is it Doja Cat? It's Doja Cat, right? What I told you, I thought it was like, Bitch, you said what I heard. <laughs> Some shit like that. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, man. Oh. I'm out. Me too. I'm out. <laughs> tap, tap Lord's work. All right. Oh. I genuinely appreciate you, brother. We'll see you around the studio more. Of course. And remember, everybody, make sure that you go to our website. Check out our Into the AM stuff today. I'm wearing a really cool Astro Arcade tee. Um, Links in the bio. Go to our sponsors and affiliates. Click on it and uh, pick up any of their shirts. They actually have flannels now. They have sweatshirts. They have all sorts of shit, all top quality. man. I got to get on those flannels. Dude, the flannels are dope. And they're coming back hard. I feel like Pearl Jam is like reinvading. I, yeah, I like I like flannels. Like I never I never liked them until recently. I was like, yeah, I think I could rock, I think I can rock the flannels. That's where I'm gonna go to. I like your generation is embracing the sweatpants. Yeah, a sweat. A, dude, Gen Z is the sweatpants generation. Oh, sweatpants are the best. <laughs> That's a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Hands are the best. Gen Z. Sign me up. Gen Z. Sweatpants are the best. <laughs> All right. Remember, everybody, be cool and keep learning. And sweatpants are the best. <laughs> oh, shit. That was the funniest thing ever. Holy shit. I missed it.